Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon, John chapter 4, verse 6. The story of Jesus is remarkable. In this text, we see one of the most interesting and powerful acts of Jesus. Do you see it? Jesus is walking from Judea up to Galilee, and halfway there, he gets tired, he feels hungry, and he needs to rest. You might ask, what's so remarkable about that? Well, it reveals that Jesus understands us. He knows what it means to live in our world and to deal with tough schedules, big responsibilities, and have lots of expe expectations placed on us. He understands what it means to be tired. How are you doing this morning? Have you ever had one of those days when you feel so exhausted that you wonder, how am I ever going to make it through this day? Burdened with spiritual, emotional, physical, financial, relational stresses. Do any of those describe you? Are you ever so tired that you can't even think straight and that there's not enough coffee in the world to make it better? The day has just started and we're already struggling. It's so hard to keep going, and we may not say anything to anyone, but if they could see what we're feeling, they'd see a person that feels overwhelmed. They'd see a person that could use a little help. They'd see a person that wants to keep going, that wants to do well, but we're just not sure how we're going to do it. We're just simply tired. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28 through 30 says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Psalm 55, 22 says, Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. God is saying, I see your burdens. I see your weary heart. Come to me. Let me take that load. God understands how tired you are this morning. He knows what you're facing. He knows what you feel. And he wants to remind you this morning that there is no burden, there is no weight too heavy for the Lord. He's never overwhelmed or overcome. God wants you to know that you aren't without resources. He has an infinite supply and he will strengthen you. God can feed your soul and give you the strength to make it one more day. And he's telling you this morning to cast all your burdens on him. What is that anxiety? What is it that's troubling you? What is it that's overwhelming you? And even if it's just the physical weariness, cast all your burdens on him. Trust him. Trust him. Release your burdens onto the Lord and let him fight for you today. So no matter what or who you have to deal with today, God will sustain you. Good morning, everyone. This is Monday, and I don't know if it's your favorite day or not. It's not necessarily mine. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm a little disheveled this morning, but hey, it's Monday. I think we all have that excuse, right? You know, I want to think about what is it that you and I have ahead of us today? What's waiting for you? Is it a lot? Are there lots of pressures, lots of responsibilities, lots of things to do? The more you tell me that you have to deal with, then, then my advice would be this. The more you have to deal with, the more you need to spend some time in prayer. Even if it's short, even if it's just this this morning, you need to pray because if the problems are this big, then your prayers need to be this big. Your prayers need to sustain what's happening in your day. And as you're praying, speak to the Lord. Let Him know all that troubles you, all those things that are making you weary. Maybe it's simply you're just tired. Whatever it is, cast all your concerns upon the Lord. I know it's the beginning of the week. It's hard, isn't it? But I want you to know 
you're gonna make it through. You're gonna be okay. Why don't we take a moment, just take a big breath. It's always good to be reminded that every day is a gift and Lord God has resourced us for this day. Why don't we take some time right now and let's pray together so that the first voice that you've heard today is God's encouragement and respond to him now in faith. Would you pray with me? Close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for making yourself accessible to me. Thank you for covering my weakness. Thank you for loving me so much that you're willing to take all my burdens and give me rest. This day is not lost because of you. I will have victory because of you. This day is a gift and I will not let it go without inviting you into it. Lord, all that burdens my heart, all that worries my mind, all that is troubling my soul, right now I give to you. Thank you for walking with me, for supporting me and sustaining me. And God, thank you for being the first voice in my day. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you today. We're going to get through it. Have a great day.